Hello everybody, this is uh, Olivetti Lettera 22 from 1950. It comes uh, with its uh, caring case. It's a famous Italian typewriter. There are uh, many colors available. This is uh, kind of gray. Lettera in Italian language means letter. And the 22 probably derive from the fact that the Italian alphabet has 21 letters and this symbolizes that the machine is such a new concept that it can be considered as a new letter of the alphabet indispensable for composing sentences. This typewriter with its rounded lines is in permanent exposition at MoMA the Museum of Modern Art of New York to represent an example of Italian design. The Lettera 22 was also chosen in 1959 by the Illinois Technology Institute as the best design product of the last 100 years. It was produced by Olivetti from 1950 to 1963 with little variations. And this typewriter was used by many famous Italian writers and journalists. Pier Paolo Pasolini, Indro Montanelli, Enzo Biagi, and Gunther William Grass, Nobel Prize for Literacy in 1999. The Lettera 22 was advertised with stylish posters and some sentences which accentuates some connotations of the machine. The posters are signed by great masters of advertising graphics, Nizzoli, Pintori, Savignac and intellectuals and writers such as Franco Fortini and Giovanni Giudici collaborate with in drafting the text. Some sentences in the advertisings are quite poetical. Light as a symbol, complete as a sentence. Lettera 22 a typewriter to write in your homes. Other sentences from letter 22 advertisements were Its place is in daily life, in the family and on the road. Necessary for the professions, it is for the student, for the lady and for the merchant. As universal as the telephone, the radio, the clock. Words are made with vowels and consonants. Roots are made with words, letters, and thought with thought. Letters are written with letter 22. A kind of poetry. It's very light. You can easily take it with you in train, bus, plane, at school. The letter 22 is designed to be a portable, and it's very little. But it's not a toy. It's quite heavy. 3.7 kg. That is to guarantee robustness and quality. And it has a good touch considering it's a portable. A carrying case with a handle facilitates the transport. The letter 22 is the successor of the Olivetti MP1. Also MP1 was an Olivetti typewriter built from 1932 to 1950. The design is conceived to have no protruding parts. You see the carriage is incorporated in the body of the typewriter. When not in use, the interline lever is folded in the roller. This version has black round buttons, later version have square grey buttons. In the keyboard there are the accented letters for the Italian language. The backspace shift for majuscules and minuscules to save space in the keyboard is missing the 1 and the 0. You can use the L and O instead. Here you can set the color of the ribbon, black, red or no color, for the matrix of the mimeograph. There is an automatic direction change for the ribbon. When it reaches the end on one spool, it reverses automatically.
this is the tabulator button and this is the setting tabulation lever you can clear all the tabulator stops keeping the tabulator lever pushed backward while depressing the tabulator button now all the tabulator stops are cleared to set the tabulator stop you play the carriage at the point you want to type then you pull the tabulator settings lever forward now when you press the red tabulator button the carriage stops at the place where the tabulation has been set these sliders are the margins and this is the margin bypass to insert the paper you lift the paper supports you lift the bay rod there is a spring to push it back insert the paper sheet and turn the roller If the paper sheet need to be straightened, pull the paper release lever forward, adjust the paper and push back the lever. If you want to move the roller independently of the ratchet wheel notches, you have to press this button on the knob. To make correction, center the letter on a line, etc. This is the interline number selector and the interline lever. Here there is the carriage locking lever mechanism. With this lever you can adjust the tension of the buttons to suit your touch. Position 1 is the lightest touch, 4 is the heaviest. That's all. It's interesting how a typewriter can reflect the culture of a determined period. Thanks for watching.